Yeah. We got packs in the truck. Got you want problems, we tell you what's up. Take your nigga and don't give a fuck. Go to the crib and get head, we don't fuck. Hey, get head, take off. Ooh, play with a head jigsaw. Fuck on a bitch, take it off. Slip on the condo, can't fuck on a rock. Hey, plug on the phone, can't talk. It's your girl, baby V, and I'm back with another interview. Today, y'all, I got my guy, I Heart Memphis, with me today. He came to Little Rock and he performed. Hey, Granny Mount, Granny Mount for the you know, kids or whatever. So I but reached out to him. Yeah. So I reached out to him. <laughs> and uh, I just had to get an interview in since he was here. When are we getting some new music? I drop new music all the time. When y'all gonna get another hit the corner, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know when the first one was gonna come. You know what I'm saying? But my music out on all platforms. I drop music all the time. But you know, if you follow me, if you're a fan of what I do, then you checking it out. Other than that, the next hit the corner coming soon. What plans you got, you know, upcoming future? Like be a role model, you know, to the next generation. Uh, be myself, lead by example, keep God first, work hard, never give up. Um, don't make myself seem like I'm older than I am because I'm working hard, you know, just keep pressing the stride and uh, keeping negative people out of my life. What is the most challenging obstacle that you have faced in your music career? The most challenging obstacle is, um, I guess, dealing with dealing with like the critics. It's challenging because they know how to get under your skin and they know how to, you know, uh, and they know how to say stuff uh, that have you thinking, you know, so the critics is like the hardest because <laughs> you can't stop them from saying what they want to say. So you just ignore them? Yep, you ignore them, and, but you, you kind of get used to it. Yeah. And you just laugh at it. Yeah, yeah, but, sound about right. <laughs> Do you have anyone that you consider your mentor? Like anyone you look up to? God. Music wise. <laughs> Lil Wayne. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's my favorite rapper. I fuck with Wayne. Wayne hard. He a beast. I've been bumping Wayne since like middle school, since the drought. All of it, bro. Like I can cut a whole yard and do the edge and bump the Wayne. Like I can do anything. You feel me? So, you know, What's your favorite Wayne song? Probably, uh, like six foot, seven foot, eight foot. I like No Love because he was being different. He was singing. Yeah. You know, I'm a Wayne fan, so whatever he do, he kill it. So, you know. Okay, okay. My favorite mistake, No Silence. No Silence. Mine's is um, uh, Dedication 2. Yeah. I That's my favorite that. mixtape. Carter 4 is my favorite album. Tell me about your first song. Like, what made you, who inspired you to make your first song? My first song, uh, I was just having fun. I was at the house back in Memphis, just having fun, turning up, and man, this shit just started working. And I was like, uh oh, I got something. And I just was consistent. And then Rich Homie Corn made Flex, and he was in the corn. And I was like, uh oh, I got something else. <laughs> and then I, I just made the song and it jumped through it. And just like that, in one year. What is one experience in life that without it today, you wouldn't be the artist you are today? Girl, you got some good questions. <laughs> uh, man, the hate. Like, so many people are afraid to be themselves and live their life because they so scared of what other people think. Right. Like, if you can just don't care, don't give a fuck what other people think, you know what I'm saying? I feel like without me going through stuff, people be afraid to go through stuff, but when you go through stuff, that's how you get your strength. That's how you be more powerful, you know what I'm saying? That's how you get your faith. So without, without me going through anything, you feel me? In what ways has your newest music changed from when you first started? It ain't really changed. I dance to all my stuff, you know what I'm saying? I guess I ain't telling no routines no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but um, it, ain't, it ain't really changed, you, you know. The next time a big trend come through, a big wave come through, you know, I could have took a lot of these dances, but I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to, you know, finesse them folks like that. Some people from my city, I didn't want to do them like that. You know what I'm saying? But the next time a big trend comes, your boy gonna snatch it. So you, you throwing shade at black boy? I ain't throwing shade. At black boy. <laughs> I'm just saying I could have ran off with a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't do it because I got respect for where I'm from. That's why I'm our heart Memphis. Where Memphis you from? 
Uh, I will say I put the city on the map if you want to get technical now. Say that because before I came out, we hit the corner in 2015. Don't nobody popping but your guy dog. After I shined that light and I took over the USA, and you know, I had everybody hit the corner. You know, once I did that, I shined that light on my city, and then everybody started getting attention from my city. You know what I'm saying? So they my son. So, so you birthed them? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everybody after your God and uh, um, dog, I birthed them. My son. Okay, okay. Uh, so did you graduate high school, all that good stuff? Absolutely, you know what I'm saying? But I did like a semester in college, college one really. Yeah. What college you went to? I went to community college. I had to. I want to try and do, you know what I'm saying? I, I already know. <laughs> I want to do that, you feel me? Well, at least you finish school or whatever. I finished high school. Make sure y'all get y'all GED. I always finish high school. GED? You uh, need a diploma? <laughs> 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 hey, I finished high school. My nanas, you know what I'm saying? My nanas high school. Has anyone helped shape you as an artist? Do you uh, feel like you had any help? It's really like, as an artist, I guess myself, you know, I kind of be myself and do what I want to do. So, as a person shaping me as an artist, I don't know. I kind of don't take talking actions from other people. I kind of be like, do what I want to do because what I do normally works. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, 10 people can be wrong and I can be the only person right in the room. And yeah. I've noticed that sometimes, so I kind of do my own thing. So, what haven't you attempted yet that you want to try? Like music wise or you know, going into acting, movies. Absolutely, anything. that's my thing, you know what I'm saying? I gotta ooh. acting, California, that's where I wanna be, uh, by thirty. That's where I do wanna be in California doing movies. I'm gonna grow my hair and stuff, look sexy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm being in acting movies, you know, that's really my passion before I started doing it. Music, I was doing like skits. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, that's what I want to do too. Like, life is just about going to the next level. You gotta keep building them steps. Mm -hmm. Do you plan on getting any features? That's the question I had. See, and like about features, why I don't just really do features with a lot of people stuff, because people don't be on what I be on. If I would listen to people and not did hit the corn, people call hit the corn gay. Okay. I mean, if I would have listened to them, I wouldn't have had a platinum record. You feel me? So, like, when you say do features, I like I think like a businessman, so I try to do stuff that makes sense. So like, shit, I don't dance for my health, you know. I mean, dance is good. I just think smart. Mm. Mm. Okay. So like, if I don't care about features. Yet. <laughs> so like, but if somebody wanted you to get on a song with you, yeah. I don't take features. So you, so you real humble. I like that. I'm cool, you know. I be chilling. <laughs> y'all got some questions in the back? Yeah, do y'all got some questions, y'all? Y'all come ask some questions. Yes, you do. Come on, Mike and T, let's go. They, they YouTubers. Ask me anything. You got a play album? I have, um, I just recently dropped a project called Rich Memphis. Rich Memphis. Man, John Bang. Uh, you can check it out on Spotify or iTunes. Be sure y'all go check What's that out on Spotify or iTunes. Was your first record, like, did you make what you thought you was gonna make off your first platinum record? As far as money, like, money, yeah, let I was able to like, yeah, bro, like, no complaints, bro. I traveled the whole world, like, I'm blessed, bro, you know? Did you ever sign a deal? Yep, I signed a fucked up deal, I got fucked over, yeah. I mean, that's a part of the game, so, I mean, you gotta be used to it, you gotta be ready for it, man. I mean, I'd rather, uh, when, like Will Smith said, fail young, fail early, and fall forward, you know what I'm saying, so. Right now, living is good. Yeah, living is great. I mean, I mean, you can't complain when you got people. I mean, I don't know if people are aware of it or not, but I mean, I was fighting the charge 2015, you know what I'm saying? And I beat that giant, you know. I, I mean, you know, it's a lot of bull going on these days, so I'm, I'm, I'm special, bro. <laughs> I'm special. I don't know why. I'm just special. I know you What's something you like to do in your spare time when you're not Chill. doing business? Chill. <laughs> I, 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 am, I am so lazy, but I work so hard. That's so funny, but I, I do not stop moving. I was just in Dallas yesterday. I'm going back to Houston tomorrow. Like, I'll be in Florida. I'll be everywhere. Like, 
But I'm so lazy. I'd be rushing to them places just to just to chill. Rushing up just to do nothing. You sound so, like me. You feel me? I just want to chill. I ain't gonna say what else I like to do, but I like to chill. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, do you got some questions? <laughs> Ask me some. All right, um, if you could work with anybody, who would it be? Lil Wayne. Besides Lil Wayne. Besides Lil Wayne, I guess. I, I guess that Drake nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you act just like this. Yo, oh, God, he got the same personality. We got one more question. Have you ever met Dolph? Absolutely, Have bro. I, man, you. Dolph Homer, bro. Shout out to Young Dolph. Dolph, a real nigga, bro. Like, I met Dolph at uh, uh, Gus Chicken, man, one day. Oh, and this was here? Gus here? Chicken in Memphis. Uh, we got, we got one here, too. Y'all popping, dude. I met Dolph, bro. He always, he was humble, bro. He was cool. And this was back then. He went, like, just hot, hot, hot. Like, he was locally hot. Man, hey, shout out to Dolph. I asked him. I remember, like, yesterday. I said, bro, how do you get so popular so fast? He said, I invested my own money. I was like, damn. You feel me? Yeah. Like, he was like, he investing himself. I never person. forgot that. And dude been grinding for a long time. Shout out to him. Okay. I, gotta I met you. every rapper. I'm sorry. I met every <laughs> rapper from Memphis. Every rapper from Memphis know me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. They all know me, bro. Period. Point blank, period. They done had a phone call with me that they done DM me or they done something. You know what I'm saying? They they, they got to see me. I'm out my Memphis. I'm just saying. I heart radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. you. What's your question, Mike? Okay, if you was to lose it all today, what would you do? Um, Be blessed. If I was to lose it all today, I would be at peace. It's stressful having money. Having money is stressful, you know what I'm saying? Like, people gotta survive. I, I gotta take care of my family. But if I was to lose it all today, I'll be at peace. Because money is like, people think, you know, just cause, ooh, cause you got people le leeching off you. You know what I'm saying? It's cash out, shit out now, so it's easy to, to get finesse. People just, cash out, you twenty, cash out, cash out, you twenty. So, I mean, people just try to use you when you got money, you know, so. That's what it is. I mean, if I was to lose it, I think I, I would see my real friends. I think I would see who really for me, and I think I would see like, you know what I'm saying? Back to reality, like, mm -hmm. I'll be able to get a second chance at judging people next time. Because whatever you got somebody around you, just because you popping, they want to be around you. But if you lose it all today, what it is. Right. Target. It makes sense. That's what I so think about So my eyes will be day. open. If I lost it all today, my eyes will be open. Okay. <laughs> Do you got any questions for one of us? Um, Me? Her? Him? Him? Her? <laughs> well, I seen you get like 100K, right? Mm-hmm. 122 Yeah, 22. I want to say congratulations. Thank you. And I want to say chase your dream. And um, um, I want to say... Um, Congratulations again because I know how hard it was mm -hmm. to accomplish this goal because I know how hard it is to start somewhere and try to be like, yes. you gotta keep putting it off. Mm -hmm. I know everybody in this area want to be a YouTuber. Yes, and it's I'll working for you. Motivated. So yes. you are so blessed. So just keep, you came in with a nice crowd. I like the people you are around. I, um, I like the energy and vibe. I like the people you with. Um, I think they, I think they are their selves. Mm -hmm. I don't think they portray to be anybody else. Every single person you with right now, all four of them, I feel like they be themselves. And that's the kind of people you should be around. That's the yes, kind of people sir. I be around. And we weird though. Sorry to say it, but we weird. You know what I'm saying? We weird though. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yes. But like I was saying, keep doing your thing. I see you going real far. And just, man, you got a little sleep over this, you know what I'm saying? And keep the sign, like, keep your good energy. Whatever's working for you, keep that. Keep whatever's working and, and like, lose sleep. You okay, I'm going to start and, losing sleep. Like, like, you got to really kill over this. You got to be the best. Like, if you really want to do this, I posted a hundred videos and everything. Really? That was my promotion. A hundred videos for three, four weeks straight, for a month straight. I flooded the internet. I said, bitch, y'all gonna feel me. <laughs> That's how you know what I'm saying. Like, do your videos, you know. I mean, I, you reached out to me. I'm in the city. I'm a cool guy. I'm like, why not? I used to be a promoter. I'm like, shit, you might send a cute couple girls my way. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? 
I don't care, you feel me? I'm a cool guy. I want to help somebody out. I don't know who else will do it. I don't know how many more people would, you know, just, you know, but you, you should always reach out to people. And I always try. Exactly. You're a real nigga, man. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, iHeartMemphis. Uh, hey. Unprivate, you gotta unprivate his page. His page is private. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gonna see it for us? Shout out to Baby Man, do hard. Do hard. Alright, B Squad, be sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Be sure you subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to follow him on his social media, mm -hmm. I Heart Memphis. And follow me on all my social medias, Baby B, you know, and um, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all that good stuff. Catch y'all in the next video interview. Peace. Bitch, I'm dead shot. We told red.